Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. This is your host, River Foxen, and we're still on the Citadel. Hey, buddy. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments, tips on how to make your apartment look bigger, and, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. These people have no idea. Hmm. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. You say that like it's a good thing. It's better than riots in the streets. I guess. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more war prep. It'll happen once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. All right. Okay, let's see here. Nos Astra Sporting Goods. Looks like gun stuff. And silly stuff. Hmm. There's a lot of interesting things. Gonna need to come back, go do a, uh, kind of a, a run of all the stores, uh, when I have some time, just, just to see if there's anything else that I want to grab. So Liara's at the cafe, I should go check that out. Alright. But your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have a receipt. I, I don't even think we carry that version anymore. Listen, I don't need a new model, or store credits, or anything. I just want my money out of the There's nothing I can do without a sales record of some kind. I can go get the warranty book from my car. I'm afraid I can't help you. <sighs> but your manager said you could give me a refund if I made an appointment. You're not on my appointment list, and you don't have... Are you keeping this guy at work while there's a war on? Uh, well, it's his job, right? Actually, I'm supposed to be on break. Contacting the family I haven't heard from in days. Uh, yeah. I guess maybe a war's a bad time. Maybe? That didn't cross your mind the other ten times you visited this week? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'll just, uh, yeah. I've never seen anyone so obsessed with getting a refund for a toaster oven. A toaster oven. I don't know why. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Assault rifle upgrade. Yeah. I'm going to come back around. Whoa. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to again, like I said, check out these things later. Hmm. CSEC. No, nope, nothing here. This is problematic. We must find a way to stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. We are family. The extreme weather conditions may require technology that is not readily hmm. available on the market. I'm feeling I'm gonna have to do something about his problems eventually. Anyway, like I said, I was gonna go check out Liara, who's apparently over here. I don't see her anywhere. Oh, there I think she is. Yeah, she's sitting alone, of course. Still working? One call leads to another, and here I was hoping I'd have time to enjoy the view. 
The last time I saw the Presidium. Remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. Such as? Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Hmm. We'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. All right. So now I guess I can talk to Barlavon. He didn't want to talk to me earlier. Where is he? Is he on this level? Yeah. So we'll go talk to him. All right. On our way out. Hmm. Have you decided how to tell him? This running animation is really weird. What was that? Oh, transit. Commander Shepard. It's been some time. Barlavon, in case you've forgotten. Financial advisor. And an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. Mm -hmm. He used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. I still am. The Broker has been exceedingly busy lately. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. Hmm. I appreciate the information. Just don't wait too long to act on it. The Reapers are advancing all too quickly. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. The galactic market is in considerable flux. All right. Well then, got something to do there. Let's head back to the elevator here. Welcome, Commander Shepard. All right. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Dogging Bay E24. No, it's a terminal. Emergency civilian housing. Val, Olun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the war effort. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajay. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war, and you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. Hmm. All right, what's all that about? All right, well, there's another terminal in Area 4. Garrus is over here. Yeah, there's so many places to check out here. Anyway. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? I don't know, all right. But they can't land here. Hmm. You can't turn people away. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just so let them land. This is an interesting okay. thing. This isn't about money. What I think happens is that if I support the refugee, I get some feel goods. But if I support the dock officer, then I get more war preparedness. I believe that, like, if they're supporting refugees, then uh, 
they're actually less efficient at defending themselves. Hmm. You know, if that ship doesn't clear out, the dock's authorized to fire. Right. We'll follow through if the situation forces us to. But they're civilians. And they're keeping military ships from doing their jobs. I'm contacting Docking Central. If that ship isn't shoving off in 30 seconds... Don't fire! I'll... I'll tell them to go. I hate this. There's just not enough space for everyone. Yeah. Gee, I feel a little bad. Hmm. Hey, it's that uh, place from uh, Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, you could tell that the guys who made this game watched Battlestar Galactica. I mean, considering we've got, you know, uh, what's his name? Colonel Ty is a uh, character here. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Excuse me, what was your name again? Uh, the car. Christophe Vasser, good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know, I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. Hmm. Do I get something from that? I guess not. Ah, you guys are in my way. Place looking rough. Alright. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Place is looking rough. Looks like that people are living in the in this area. Or dying. Did you just call me disgraced? I'm right here, you know. Let's check on those metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The surgeons there are all busy. Keep on it. Some of these wounded don't have much time. Hmm. It's looking rough. Oh, hey, Garrus. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Mm -hmm. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. There's a lot more war to go. Hmm. You have a copy of a show. Oh, yeah. The one based on that war hero? We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Yeah. It looks like me. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Hmm. Great. Alright. Anything else? Anybody else have anything to say? Doesn't look like it. Alright. 
There's the terminal I need to scan. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bao. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your men. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. Hmm. So she's into Jacob. All right. Back to this terminal. Val, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemandis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. All right. There's one thing I want to check real quick. Not that maybe. Nope, I can't go in there. Because there's a door over there. You know what I bet it is? I bet at some point there's going to be something here and I'm going to be able to vault over this counter. Right now I can't. But why else would there be a door there that as you see is selectable. Welcome, Commander Shepard. All right. We need to go to the embassies. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Organized. All right. Let's see here. Um all right. He's going to be over here. Oh, there he is. Looks suspicious. Or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors serve the Reapers. Well, you've got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. You know, I support religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We are taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. You may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors, and she just gave her life to save the Hanar homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor, with a few friends. You can come out now. 
How'd you know? Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy. And you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep. Nice working with you again. It was. Too bad we can't get her to join our team. All right. Let's see here. We got some more assets for that. All right. Let's see. Where are we going to go now? We've been here. So really, this is the only place left. Can't believe he did that. They were refugees. Damn it, it's not like they had much left to start with. Lost their homes, their loved ones, and some con artist swindled them out of what little they have left. Can't believe they won't let us stop the bastard. We still ought to do something about it. Here's hmm. the commander. No proof, no arrest. I filed a harassment complaint last time, remember? Gotta watch our backs. Not much we can do with this new detail anyway. What are we, a couple of mall cops? Should've just shot the bastard when we had the chance. Hmm. Well, didn't seem to unlock a, uh, quest. Unless I've already unlocked it. I know hmm. people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No. The new regs apply to the whole Citadel. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the backups. Get me a better power grid, I'll give you a bigger light show. Hmm. All right, there's a quest. All right, let's go into the club. No, 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 I'm telling you, I saw the look in his eye before we started off across that street. It was like... Come and get me, death, you piece of shit. Hmm. But you're not getting anyone else. Exactly. Not getting anyone else. Hey, you ready to get this party started? Hey, now you're uh, here. Hell yeah, I'm here. For the next 48 hours, I'm spending as much time in this bar as humanly possible. Yeah, we have the same thought. So, uh, the bar's over there, and, um... Uh, hey, All right, just, uh, looking around here. Aria's over there, there's a dance floor over here, and some people over here I can talk to. All right. Hey, there's James. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. Do you think I don't like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by it, Lola. Uh-huh. What did you mean, then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. Hmm. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably? And you fill out a uniform like nobody's business. Just say. But I know you're human. Just like me. But not them. Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. Hmm. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. 
Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Hmm. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On her. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. It's an honor meeting you, Commander. Thanks, but we're all in this together. Every one of us has a part to play. True enough. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, Lola. I was hoping you'd know that one. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the drink. Hmm. Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something. Commander Shepard, maybe I can help. The banner of the 1st Regiment is waiting for you at Bay D-24. The banner of... Commander Shepard, I owe you a drink. Thank you. We'll hold that banner proudly as we take our homeworld back from these bastards. All right. That was another side quest, something I picked up while well, planet scanning. All right, let's see. I think up here is just, I can choose to dance if I want to, maybe. Doesn't look like there's anybody up here. Yeah, I can use the dance floor, but I don't want to. It's always, it looks silly. All right, Aria. You've been waiting so for me. you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took C-Sec three weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess so. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. You will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. I just need you to close the deals. Hmm. If they'll fight Reapers, I'll take them. Now that's a bottom line I can respect. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. <laughs> you obviously don't know Bailey very well. Bailey respects you. Lean on him. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Let me know if you want to talk later. All right. 
Well, now we have some some business to do. All right, but uh, we're gonna start handling that business next time. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later.